So, as some of you may know, I've been drifting for approximately four and a half years now, right around five. Uh, did my first event right before I turned 12. Uh, so I have been driving for quite some time now. And my lifelong dream, as soon as I got a ride from Vaughn in his Fox body in, I want to say the 2012 East Coast Bash up at Englishtown, New Jersey, I absolutely fell in love with the sport and knew that I wanted to do this as soon as I could and f for the rest of my life. I knew from that point on that it was my lifelong goal to drift. So fast forward a couple years from there, when I was 11, it was 2018, and we just bought the E36 back from the person that we sold it to, uh, and just fully outfitted it to be a perfect grassroots beginner, like complete beginner drift car. Uh, we put an ASD handbrake in there, put a seat, we put some harnesses, uh, fire extinguisher, a steering wheel, very, very basic stuff to get this car to pass tech at an event. We then searched literally everywhere, everywhere that we possibly could to drive, everywhere that we knew that made drift events, and everybody responded back with very reasonable answers, I'm not gonna lie, uh, pretty much just saying like, there's no way that we're gonna allow an 11 year old to drift, like that is absolutely insane. Uh, insurance would never clear that, and by all means, I completely understood. Usually, 11-year-olds are not driving. Uh, people get their license at 16, and that makes complete sense. Although, we found Ready, Set, Drift up in Pocono, and Mike decided, hey, I'll give them a shot. So, for their first clinic of the year in 2019, we went up, and it was a couple days before my birthday, and it was the most surreal experience of my life. Uh, I had been sim drifting for about two years before then on a Logitech wheel and in Forza, so it was not very realistic. Um, but the muscle memory transferred into the real car very, very well. And I was able to pick it up pretty quickly, uh, the feeling of transitions and counter steering and stuff like that, uh, into a stock angle, stock completely bone stock angle E36, uh, which is, kind of hard to hold a drift with. Um, able to complete that and yeah, did some donuts, did right hand, left hand, figure eights, and uh, finally at the end half of the day, they opened up the track and I completely, I just completely broke down. I started crying. I was like, I don't know what to do because this is a completely unfamiliar experience and yeah, it was very, very uh, scary at the beginning, but everybody was just like, hey, take it one corner at a time, just start corner by corner by corner and eventually I did that and then ended up linking the track on my last lap of the day. So with that being my first event, that fueled me more and more and more to want to drive and drive more and drive more and more and more and more. And that's exactly what I did. We outfitted the car even more to make more of a higher grassroots cars, nowhere near a pro build, but we put extended tie rods on there, courtesy of Chelsea, and he had made some. Um, we just added things that made it more comfortable for me to drive, and just overall better to drive. And since then, we have done events all over the country. We've gone to Michigan for Grid Life last year. We went down to Florida for Clutch Kickers, as well as going to the Freedom Factory for multiple events. Uh, and all the in-between, Virginia, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, we've been all over. So, I love drifting. Like, this is my passion, this is everything that I've wanted to do. And last year when we competed with Clutch Kickers down at the Freedom Factory, it was the first really jump into competitive drifting that I've done. Uh, I had done some grassroots comp here and there, however, this was a real, like, payout, big payout comp with lots of lots of highly skilled drivers, car, people with pro cars, uh, everything that you could think of. There were people with grassroots cars and pro cars. The competition was very, very scattered. And I ended up going against Nate Hamilton, who was in the Clutch Kickers Corvette, which is a pretty prospect built car, and held my own and eventually actually took Nate out in Clutch Kickers, as well as Jonathan Naren, who is an ex Formula Drift driver, and Lee from Monster Performance down in Florida, who is a very, very well, very, very skilled driver. And 
I was able to beat Lee and Nate, and then we finally got to Naren, and his car was very, very fast. I'm not gonna lie. If you're watching this, Jonathan, your car is insane. Um, but it really just fueled me to want to compete more and more and more and more. So I looked around this past year, did so, so many fun events, and got more and more seat time. Did some grassroots comps on the sim to get more of a feel for when I'm in a competitive state, uh, how to feel for the sim and stuff like that, uh, but never really indulged in many competitions this past year. And as much as I regret not doing that, I definitely had one of the best, I'd say the best season of my life, just from going all over the place, driving with a bunch of friends, getting so much sea time in, and yeah, this was definitely one of the best. However, it lacked one thing, competitions. So, that's why today I would like to say that I'm finally competing in my first Formula Drift Pro-Am series. So, we are doing East 10 Drift down at Bristol in Tennessee, and yeah, ever since I knew even what Formula Drift was, I saw people that we knew in there, like Chris Forsberg, Dylan Hughes, obviously Vaughn, and then at Chelsea we began to just see all our friends succeeding in this competition, and it really, really showed me that it was pretty much like the MLB of drifting. So it's where the top dogs go, and and I knew since that first ride that I needed to be in that position. But yeah, we are going to be competing in Pro-Am to get my Formula Drift Pro Spec license. So I uh, never really filmed an intro, but I'm out at Langley Raceway, or Speedway, sorry, for the US Drift Street Legal Comp. And uh, just finished up some practice, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I only got one chasing lap, which was a little bit of a problem. But um, I mean, I, I'm feeling comfortable on this track and I got a lot of lead runs, so I think I should be good. But uh, yeah, we got all of the cars parked up on the bank while we're waiting for all the battles to start going. So. I'll uh, get some content of that and uh, show you guys all the people that are here. Hey guys, we are here at Clutch Kickers. We've made it. Um, I'm in the car right now. We are waiting for tech. We got Savio right there. And um, yeah, I am super, super pumped to be out here. This is the first Clutch Kickers that I've been a part of. Um, we got Sarah back there. We have Jay and then Emerson. So the whole gang is here. Um, waiting on a few homies, uh, but super stoked to be out here. We're gonna do the Friday practice. So that's from 2 to 8 tonight. Uh, just to get a feel for the track, make it better. Um, but after that, I should have uh, pretty good practice and pretty confident. Pretty confident going into uh, qualifying and practice tomorrow. What's up, guys? So I am in the car right now. Uh, I got the cool suit on, everything. Um, we're waiting right now. Uh, I got Lee Yearwood in the S13.5, um, the RB car in 64. 
So um, I'm excited. It's going to be a blast. Um, like I said, strapped in, ready to go. I think we're next battle. Uh, and all we got to do is turn the car on, get some gloves on, and push the hardest. So um, I'm excited, and let's see how this is going to go. Reese has got to now put down a solid lead run. And he's, I'm sure he's going to hope that he can make a major safety. Look at the screen. Through that first outer zone, Reese right there with the both cars looking at the infield and into that second outer zone. Reese needs to dive into the attack and apply that pressure here, but before he falls back. Alright guys, so we have wrapped up here at Clutch Kickers. The rig is all packed up, ready to go. We're all heading out and um, so, so successful. Uh, this is my first Clutch Kickers, so even running with all the big guys. We ran with Nair and we ran with Nate Hamilton. Um, it, was a, it was a fantastic weekend and I could not have thanked everybody that helped us get here enough. I mean, it's, it's fantastic what we were able to do. But um, we're heading back home, it's a 17-hour drive home, so um, we are ready and uh, we will assess damage. I don't think there's much damage at all, but we will assess when we get home. So hope you guys enjoyed.